What's up my branders? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm your girl Bridget Nicole and this is Bridget Nicole Uncut Life. If you're new here, I ask that you would please stop, subscribe, make sure you turn on your notification bell so you'll get notified of all my new uploads. And yeah, hey y'all. So today is Saturday, August the 13th. I'm at work right now. And I was like, I got a little easy day. I came outside um, just to enjoy some of this morning air. The fall is coming, y'all, and I am ecstatic. <laughs> I'm a summer baby, but I really, really love this fall. You see the wind blowing, and it's just, it's just the cool air for me in the morning, okay? So I've been at work since 7. I'm here until 7 tonight. Um and i thought i would just do a little vlog um i'm about to eat my breakfast right now so my breakfast is um i just gotta y'all i don't eat bread y'all know i'm on a diet i've been working out but this is a um, raisin bagel and she gave me some cream cheese and apple jelly i remember back in the day y'all i used to love apple jelly so um, yeah, I'll probably just eat a half a piece of this real quick. Got a little bit of orange juice in my cup. And y'all know I make these cups and it's a little bit of orange juice. Um, yeah, so I really wasn't prepared to work today. This caught me off guard. So I'm here and it's a beautiful, beautiful, look how pretty it is out here, y'all. The skies are clear. The sun is shining. It's so pretty. I love it. <laughs> so yeah, let's talk while I eat my bagel. All right, y'all. So if you haven't noticed, y'all, can you tell this whole side of my face is swollen? Yeah, I've been dealing with a toothache for the past. Oh, I'm about to go in because there's flies everywhere out here. But um, I've been dealing with a toothache for about a week now. This is probably going on the second week. And y'all, my mouth has been killing me. And I'm just like completely over it because if y'all know a toothache, it's worse than having a baby. Like, y'all look at my face. Could you see? It's really big. Could you tell if I move? <laughs> yeah, so I'm thinking like when I leave here tonight um, at 7, I'm going to go to like a, a ER or urgent care or something. So, oh, yep. Could y'all hear me? Like, he really had to, like, y'all, he came from all the way down there. All the way down there, all the way up here with that cart. For real. I can't believe it was so loud. I was like, what was that? <laughs> but, y'all, you can tell I picked up my camera. Excuse me, I got bacon in my mouth. But, you can see. And this side is in. So that's what I'm dealing with. That's what I'm facing. The lighting is beautiful this way, but this way we got the little cast because of the sun, but yeah. So my mouth has really been hurting y'all. And like I said, toothache is no, it's no joke. Like you can't sleep, you can't eat. So I'm about to try to eat like a little piece of this bagel on the side of my mouth. Cause y'all I'm really hungry. And I've been on the little weight loss little diet so i really ain't supposed to be eating right now or usually don't eat but once a day and it's usually like in the evening time like about four or five if i eat i definitely don't eat until after 12 one some most of the time so yeah let's see how this goes 
but my mouth being swole is just like, yeah. That sun is so pretty though. Mm. Ooh, y'all, my mouth. I'm gonna try my best, y'all. But right now, if some people don't know what I do, I do private duty work. Um, I've been in a nursing field for 20 plus years. Um, and I take care of older people, you know, especially um, here lately. I've been working with a lot of dementia, Alzheimer's, those sort of, um, you know, clients but um yeah it's it's cool i really love you know taking care of people some days are better than others some are worse than others it's just up and down and i just pray to god you know that he just keeps my mind he keeps me sane like getting old y'all Everybody got to get old, but sometimes you just be like, Lord, please don't let me lose my mind. Please let me keep using the bathroom. <laughs> like just the simple things. Cause y'all it's hard getting old. Hard. All right, yeah, so <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I had to stop for a minute, but like I was saying, yeah, so working in the medical field and working with people with dementia and Alzheimer's, it's definitely not easy. You definitely have to have a strong mind, you know, and just be caring and compassionate. I love my job. I love my field of work. Um yeah so this is just like now this was my full-time job but now i do you know i fill in you know when people need me or whatever the case may be so yeah so this is probably something i'll do forever and ever amen <laughs> but i just wanted to come in and i don't know where the day is going to take us i just thought i would just start a new video show y'all where i'm working at today um like i said today is saturday and i'm supposed to get off like i said at seven but she just texted me and said can i stay overnight so i might be working overnight um we'll see how it goes but the money's easy the job's easy the money's easy <laughs> so i don't mind i get to sit outside most of the time or you know just enjoy the day enjoy the air um y'all probably like well girl where's your client at like you sit outside eating it all <laughs> but she's sitting right here um she didn't want to come outside so there's like a window right here next to me could y'all see it see the window that's the window so I'm looking at her through the window. She's sitting in like the little lobby area. She just sits by the fireplace and sleeps. And <laughs> so long as she's in my sight, I'm good. So she don't like people to be right under her. Some people just like their space. But did y'all enjoy my five year anniversary vlog? I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, 
I really liked my video, my little documentary. It was cute. <laughs> I tried to edit, throw in older clips, and um, give y'all some of me, you know. And it's 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 crazy. You can't sum up your whole forty one years on this earth in an hour, but I did my best. So don't judge me. <laughs> so I just hope that you are. Um, really you know listened and took key to a lot of things i was saying because everybody needs somebody at some point like everybody need help it's just it's just life y'all so you just sometimes got to take the bitter with the sweet and everything that i said in that video i meant from the bottom of my heart um and it's my story so nobody can tell my story like me and that's why I decided to do it that way. Um, the sun is going in and out, in and out. It's so pretty out here. I was just looking at the waterfall. Just in, just thanking God, y'all. And also, I don't even know why I'd even start off with this, but we got over 500 subscribers. I'm at work, so I'm trying to be cool about it. But, girl, we hit our 500 mark. I'm so excited. So, so, so excited, y'all. Like, what? I hit 500 subscribers on my own. Like, what? <laughs> and I wanted to reach it by June the 1st. Sorry. I wanted to reach it by June the 1st, which is my, what's my birthday. But it's all good. Not in my timing, but in God's timing. That's it. So now we're on our road to a thousand. So make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your mama, tell your daddy, tell your sister, tell your brother, tell everybody you know. Bridget got him popping in the A. <laughs> yeah, y'all. So, to all the people that have already supported, subscribed to my channel, showed me love. Like, y'all just don't know. I so appreciate the support. Because, y'all, I'm really, 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 really loving this. Like, I love YouTube. I mean, before I even started it, you know. I was always on YouTube watching some of my favorite YouTubers and just always on YouTube learning DIY projects, how to make stuff, how to create, like, that's that's what I love. So, I've always used YouTube's platform to teach me things, even when it comes to nails. I've learned so much from doing nails um, on YouTube. I mean, watching videos on YouTube about nails, like... It's just very informational. And if you use it for what you can use it for, I mean, what it's for, <laughs> and don't get caught up in the hypes, YouTube is very, 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 very helpful on a lot of different levels. <laughs> yeah. Chewing this bagel. I'm glad it's kind of soft. It's not hurting too much. Yeah, so right now it's only it's 9.48 a.m. And I'm here till 7 p.m. So I don't know, y'all. <laughs> this might be a, a, a boring, a boring. Whoa, y'all, my mouth. This might be a boring little video for y'all, but we'll see what happens. It might be a two or three day vlog. I'll just insert this clip. Oh, I got something I want to talk about.
Y'all, I'm addicted to the show. Married at First Sight. Y'all. When I tell you I've been binge watching that since last week. It's really, really good. And... I started watching it from the last season, which is this season. And I'm like two episodes away from the finale. And y'all, I really, really love that show. I'm even thinking about signing up. <laughs> you like that show, y'all. And I like it because it's a challenge. I love challenges. I like it because they tr the, the experts try to really match you up with somebody, you know, of your stature or whatever you want to call it. Or whatever you tell them that you're looking for. Like, it's really, really, really amazing to me. And I really feel like I might need some help. <laughs> finding a date. Finding a mate. Finding somebody I want to spend the rest of my life with. Because I'm not having no luck. And it's not like, you know, you got to stay married to these people forever if it don't work out they definitely give you um if it doesn't work out you know you can get divorced after the two month period yeah yeah so after the two month period after that little mark then i guess you all come together like i said i'm not on the last um, episode yet so i really don't know but I do know you definitely are able to get a divorce if you don't want to after them two months. Or you can stay married and really see what's going on, you know, as far as your relationship. And I want to do it. <laughs> like, help me find love because I can't find it. For real. You funny. people crying so anywho yeah they have a um black couple on there well it's two black couples and three white couples on this season and woody and amani are one of the black couples then it's um oh i forgot his name then there's another black couple and Woody and Armani, they like, they hit it off. Like as soon as they got married, they hit it off. They went on their honeymoon. They had sex like the third or fourth day on their honeymoon. Um, they, they just connected. Like they were really, really like in love with each other. Basically at first, she, you know, she was telling him Woody, had told her first that, you know, he was in love with her or fell in, he wasn't in love with her, but he loved her. And she has yet to tell him that, you know, she loves him back or whatever. But she said, you know, she's growing into loving him and she really likes him, but she didn't say the love words yet. So I really like them. <clears throat> and there, there's this white, like, um, nerdy couple they're so cute i love them and the woman um who is the nurse she's a doctor and she is about to get um you know she's about to go on her x term type thing or whatever it's called so she don't know where she's going to be stationed at um she might have to leave new orleans it takes place in new orleans by the way 
So that's where they're all from. And the nurse, um, she just graduated from doctor school. So she got to go do her, whatever it is. I forgot the name of it. They kept calling it something. What is it? I forgot the name of it, but she might have to leave New Orleans and go do it in another city or state. So he's like, I can't make that decision right now. He's like, when the time comes, you know, then I'll make it. She, it It's just, y'all, I love it. If y'all haven't watched Married at First Sight on Netflix, watch it. It's good. Really good. My client sleep in the chair, y'all. She's knocked out. <laughs> but I'll get back to y'all. I'm gonna finish eating this bagel. It's hard to talk and chew. So we'll be back in a little bit. I love my job's bathrooms, y'all. They're so like the mirror, it's the mirrors for me. You see the mirror? Ain't that cute? And I'm a mess. Y'all, it is Saturday. <laughs> Nobody is here. And any, it's anything goes today. So, I'm going to get my purse. I was washing my hands. Look at the floor. Our bathrooms look like dressing rooms. Ain't that cute? Okay. Hi, how are you? Do that. It's my job, y'all. Ain't that cute? I got on my little glitter clock. What? <laughs> Can't tell me that. Let's go. It's the waterfall. So pretty. You see the waterfall? Hey y'all, okay, we're back. Hours and hours and hours later. It's almost 8 p.m. I'm home from work, y'all. I'm very tired. Um, yeah, so I just got in. My face is still swollen, y'all, but one thing about it and two for sure, I cannot go to the ER, sit there for Lord knows how many hours for them just to give me some antibiotics and send me home because they're not going to be able to pull it or do anything like that in the ER. So I'm like, I'm really not in any pain right now. Um, and I just can't do it. Like I cannot just go sit there for all them hours and I have to be, that's what I was going to say. And I have to be at work in the morning. Like, that's not going to happen. Let me sit y'all down. Did y'all see me? Yeah, so that's not going to work. I'm like, I'm sitting y'all all type of janky, okay? Let me see. Did y'all see me? I guess. But, yeah, so hopefully I can just get through the night. Yeah, I'm so tired. I need a shower. I look crazy. I'm hot. Woo, my back is itching so bad. Woo, y'all ever have that itch? You just gotta get through my back and I'm scratching my back, not my butt. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, um, I think I'm gonna just try to wait till at least Monday morning and try to call my doctor to see if they can just give me an antibiotic until I can get to the dentist or something y'all because I, I just can't and like I said you be sitting there for hours for nothing like just give me an antibiotic and send me home why I gotta sit here and get all this blood work all this yeah I was at work thirsty I didn't put some type of diet tea I don't know what this is because my filler went out so I gotta change my filler but hot. Anywho, y'all, so I just came in. I told y'all I had did the pantry over 
I did the pantry little video and I told y'all at the end of the video that I probably wasn't going to keep it the same. It's not the same. <laughs> y'all, it's not the same. But I love it. It's way, 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 way more like neater, just aesthetically pleasing. It's just so cute. So when I just pulled up, I had an Amazon package and the last thing had just arrived for me to finish the pantry. And that was these waterproof kitchen pantry labels. Y'all, you know you all when pantry stickers make you happy. Oh, y'all, my mouth. I can't. Y'all, I'm excited. So, yes, we got these um, on Amazon, of course. Y'all know. Did y'all watch my previous, my Amazon? Yeah, y'all need to go watch that. My documentary part one, part two, travel vlog to Bahamas. Y'all, y'all better stop playing and go, go and make sure you, y'all know. <laughs> but yeah, so I got the labels finally. And I knew that I wanted these ones different from the ones in the laundry room because I didn't, I didn't want them to look exactly the same like that's the laundry room this is the pantry this is part of the kitchen let's switch it up a little bit even though i kept still the same clear containers and you know still kept it the white clear you know marble thing or whatever but anywho yeah y'all so this is all i have to do um is put the labels on and then i will show you all the pantry update and what else? I had a couple things I had to show y'all. I can't remember. I forgot what I had to show y'all. <laughs> oh, let's go. Oh, y'all, and I got new nails. <laughs> the orange nails are gone. And y'all, it's crazy because these been on for like a week. And I'm about to take this off. But they were really cute. They were matte. They weren't shiny at all. But they're like over a week old. And my hands is ashy. I just came in from work. But they were really cute. I'll insert some pictures of when I first did them. Yeah, so they were bomb. And I had cut myself or burnt myself. The scab prep um, finally came off of here today. So that's looking crazy. I'm just ashy, y'all. I'm just ashy. That's it. But I really love these. And I had <clears throat> did my feet blue to match. You already know the vibes. Everything got match. <laughs> but anywho, y'all, don't judge it. It's not complete yet, but I did buy that nail desk that I showed you all that I got in Ross. So this is the marble top, and I love it. It wipes off so clean. I did my nails on here, and I think I had two clients since I had this table, but it has the charging ports for the cell phones, and then you can use it for, you know, as a regular outlet. Um... It's more sleek. It's more modern. It's just so cute. And like I said, look, the tag is still on it and everything. Don't judge me. Judge your mama. So these are not the chairs. That's my old chair over there. This is just the chair I had them sitting in. Because I don't know what I want to do with this area all the way yet. Um, but I really, really, really love the desk. And I also found this bb glitter picture y'all see the tags and everything is on it because i just wanted to make sure i liked it in this space and it was big enough so i did leave the tags and stuff on there but it is so pretty y'all look at that it's so bomb so yeah i got the black and silver curtains up um 
I got to take the pink out of there. I don't know if this is going to stay, but y'all know, let me, why is all my drawers all open and stuff? So y'all know I made this cart right here, right? So I did this. It was rainbow bright. All the drawers was red, orange, yellow, green, purple. Like it was all different colors all the way down. And yeah, I spray painted it. I added the bling to the knobs and the little wallpaper on the side for decor after I spray painted them silver. And I just blinked out a lot of stuff in here. My nail brush, I blinked this out. And the little holder goes in. And then my little jar for my drill, my e file little bits. And that's a picture of me. So yeah, everything is like, I'm, you know, it's coming together. And then over here, this is just a nail canvas I made with a couple different little nails I did. That's me. <laughs> and those were the nails I had on in that picture, that cow print. Those were so cute. I loved that look. And then these were one of my clients 21st birthday nails she went to vegas she wanted all that bling on there like the era did for i don't remember when the era did this for but she had put all of the jewels the big just like that she had put all of those on her hand on every nail so that's where she had got her inspiration from so that's where that came from that's me on miami beach um, these are glass nails with the flames in them. Those were really cute. Also, one of my favorite sets. And all of this is acrylic. I don't use polish too often. I just started getting into the polish. These are glow-in-the-dark acrylic nails. Those are these when they glow. Did y'all see that? Yeah, so those are the same set. So yeah, and then over here, <clears throat> y'all see all my bling cups and stuff. I had an Etsy store, y'all. My schedule just got so hectic that I had to stop for a little while, but this will always be a part of my life, like nails, blinging stuff out. This is a drinking water bottle. I blink this out, and this is one by one. These crystals, go on one by one um this ain't no bling wrap this ain't no no none of that this is individual crystals one by one probably took me about a week to finish this one and then i did a tissue i put that light bulb in there so it wouldn't break but this is a tissue my tissue are empty i need to put some more in here but this is a tissue box holder that i blinked out all bling so bomb somebody wanted to buy this for me from me um for three hundred dollars and i couldn't get rid of it because it was my first one i ever did i wanted to keep it for myself <laughs> they really was offering the bad out on etsy and then this is just a little photo frame that i was practicing on so i had a lot of stuff y'all i gave a lot not gave but sold a lot of stuff like, and all this stuff is supposed to be blinked out. Next time I probably do, I had did a Starbucks cup. It was beautiful. So I'm probably going to do that one. But I've been really, 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 really wanting to do this big one. Um, and this is one I'll probably keep. So there, that's just a little bit of my little activity nail center. <laughs> all these is gel polishes, on light. So we're going to get this little area together, most definitely. Um, my humidifier, my paper shredder, all of those things are right there. And then y'all know this whole little setup, I made this stuff. Um, all of this stuff, like this shelf, these um, candelabras, all of that came from Goodwill. And this was back in my thrifting days. And I had just went around looking for stuff so i had brought this floating wall shelf it was wood and i spray painted it silver along with those candle those were wood as well and i just put 
some bling some bling on the candle you know and yeah so i made this this is a paperweight it got glitter in it so this was really really cute i love this when i did it when i first did it it was so pretty so i did that i made this this was supposed to be this is like a decor book and it has like the perfume bottle 3d on it Oh, my little diamonds is coming off the bottom. I'm going to have to glue this back on. But, yeah, I make all of these little coffee table blinked out books. You know I'm the blink queen. Y'all better stop playing. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's what they're... I mean, that's what this little area is hitting for. This is a little plan from Walmart. This was from the Goodwill as well. Um, That was like two dollars or something it was originally blue and it's porcelain so it's it's sturdy so i just spray painted that silver y'all know i'm the queen bee and this is a little ashtray i blinked out so y'all yeah we about to work on this room here very shortly i don't know what i'm gonna do with it what's gonna come but i don't know i'm gonna figure it out but I love this look over here. The kitchen is my favorite um, little spot in the house. <laughs> and our laundry room is still, still together. <laughs> I was kind of scared to open this door because I ain't know my son been washing. But look, it's still nice. So, um that is still together i'm excited about that <laughs> y'all this is the dumb shit i can't stand about kids like i just open up my back door to come and just look outside you know peep the view why is this garbage bag right here yo this is the shit that pisses me off with kids and i'm sorry i'm cussing but y'all i'm fucking mad because that's nasty as fuck take the shit to the dumpster and I was coming to show y'all the old nail desk was still out here because I'm trying to, um, my friend's coming to get the lamps out of there because I want my lamps. So that's still there. And he also going to carry that table to the trash for me. And I had spray painted these. <clears throat> Beautiful outside today, y'all. I love this big tree that's in my back. Isn't it so nice? So, the this didn't work at all this this oh there's water in here so yeah i was trying to spray paint these gold i'm about to redo my son's bathroom um that's the only room in the house that i did not do yet um just because he's trifling and i just don't care yeah, i had to turn y'all around so y'all know i'm serious yeah because he's trifling as hell and i i just don't understand like i didn't raise you that way how do people turn out to be so nasty like i gotta remind you to clean your room like you're 18 I'm over it, y'all, completely. All I gotta say is, I cannot wait till he gets a girlfriend and moves out. <laughs> oh, y'all, somebody's barbecuing over there. Y'all see the grill lit right there? Am I pointing in the right direction? No, this way, right here. Yeah, right here. That grill right there. Oh, y'all, I want some barbecue so bad. And I, my grill's still back there, like brand new. This is just, this just pissed me off. So just know I'm about to put y'all down and raise hell because I'm very, very mad. So I'll be back in a second. All right, y'all. So I'm upstairs in my bedroom now. I'm just relaxing a little bit. I'm so tired trying to just let my mouth breathe. Um, I'm sitting here. So I have been binge watching married at first sight and i'm addicted <laughs> y'all is so interesting interesting is the word and i'm like this is crazy it got me thinking like could i do this i'm up here like <laughs> just all into it and it's crazy like i got it on pause because 
this is my favorite little couple. So I really wanted to hear what they was about to say to her because right now they're on down from quarantine. This is during COVID. So like the, I was on this last like couple shows where the decisions were about to start and they had to go into lockdown. Y'all, this is crazy. That's all I'ma say. I love this show. <laughs> I can't talk or laugh loud, y'all, but if y'all ain't watch, ignore that bag right there. Y'all, don't worry about it. I'm about to take it out. <laughs> but I just emptied my can. But yeah, anywho, so I'm about, my son had um, ordered some Domino's, some white sauce chicken pizza. It's my favorite from Domino's. And y'all know I'm on my health journey and I've been trying to watch what I eat, you know, and I, I'm doing absolutely great. But um, I was like, I really haven't ate all day at work. I tried to eat a little piece of chicken, but I didn't feel like chewing. I only ate a little bit of that bagel. So I'm hungry. And I said I was just going to eat, you know, a piece of it, you know, because it'll be soft because it's, you know, gummy like. But yeah, so that's what I'm about to do. And y'all, I had opened up these labels. And... I love them. Like, they're so cute. So, I'm about to go downstairs, heat me up a piece of pizza. And we might just stick one of these on something to see what it'll look like. But yeah, so let's go. So, just a quick sneak peek. I put one on the coffee bin. So, that is the look, and this is the coffee bin. So that's all y'all gonna get until I'm done. But I am obsessed. That's so cute. <laughs> Yay! So stay tuned.